Hi everyone, today I'm going to be covering the Hungarian Grand Prix on the perspective of Sauber and I'm pretty sure many of you agree that this was one of the many great races that we've had this season. It was fantastic and it was really really great for the team as well. Just absolutely fantastic. So coming from Germany where Esteban Gutierrez ended his race P14 just lacking pace to fight and where Adrian Sutil um, could keep up with many drivers and actually fight, his engine suddenly switched off. So it was a bit of a disappointing race Germany but coming into Hungary it was very positive because they did look like they had a little bit more extra pace than they have in the previous races. Also in Germany they were able to be competitive um, and in Hungary they looked pretty hungry. So Friday the team actually did a lot of setup changes with both drivers, they were able to get through their program really really well which is fantastic because you know problems of course when they occur they tend to lead to either more problems or just time problems as well. So um, yeah, they worked through the, perform um, the program and uh, it looked very very positive for them, especially free practice one. And uh, Saturday, they were again, it was re just really super positive to see the step that they've taken from the last few races of course have been really really difficult for the team and it's been you know kind of sad to be able to see where the team are now in comparison to the last few years where they had amazing results but it looks like things are slowly going to get back on track and I do I honestly think that it's not going to be long before we do see points again for the team and they actually said on Saturday that they have found some tenths somewhere which is always a very positive thing to hear rather than losing tenths of course and Esteban said that he was caught out on yellow flags during his qualifying lap in Q2 so essentially you know they, he could have put in a much better qualifying lap because of course he was caught out but everything was looking very positive on Saturday and um, Adrian qualified 12th which I mentioned in my own video but uh, this this is this is great because it's actually the best qualifying position for him all season which is really great and uh, as for the race itself it was a race full of rain it was really really positive for Esteban though because he made up lots of positions he was fighting drivers keeping Kimi behind but then he had a problem with the earth system which unfortunately did stop his race which again is really unfortunate but we have to look at and draw the positives here and that is the fact that the team have made lots of improvements going forward and of course mechanical problems are starting to kick into Formula 1 just in general up and down the, the pit lane but it's, it is looking a little bit more positive in terms of who they can fight and Adrian Sutil on the other hand it was very very positive he finished P11 it matches his best ever finish since I believe Australia which is really really great he was very very close to P10 in fact um, under the first safety car he was actually stacked behind a, um, Esteban Gutierrez of course his teammate and so he did lose quite a bit of time under you know under that so maybe he could have caught Jensen Button who of course did take P10 another thing I want to mention this is just my opinion is that Button actually did have an unsafe release and he wasn't penalized for it and for unsafe releases we see drivers penalized all the time so maybe if Jensen Button was penalized then maybe Adrian Sutton could have got that first point for Sauber Unfortunately though, the FIA right now are trying to limit down on giving penalties because they want to see more racing. Um, but, you know, I think that we are getting closer to seeing Salva, you know, getting close to those points. And that is a very, very positive thing. And I really am looking forward to the second part of, you know, the season where we have eight races left. It's a very, very positive step forward. We have the summer break now and then after that comes back hopefully the whole team will be really refreshed and uh, you know we'll be able to see some great performances from the team. Let's not forget this time last year though as well they really were able to pull in some really fantastic results. I know that the, you know the technical regulations have changed dramatically but you know this could be you know a really great turnaround for the team and uh, it should be great. So that is my roundup for the Hungarian Grand Prix. It was honestly a fantastic race. I was very, very excited. And of course, it was a great race for the team as well in comparison to what's been happening with them in the last, um, last few races. So it is a very, very positive step forward and hopefully it will be even more positive going into Belgium and the, the races ahead into flyaway season. And uh, yeah, 
don't forget to like and comment and uh, subscribe to Sauber Motorsport. You can find me on YouTube as well on youtube.com slash Chandni Vlogs. And um, I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Bye.